All right, hello and welcome everyone. Uh, what I was hoping to do in this video is uh, show you a pretty nifty tool within SOLIDWORKS. Uh, if you've been doing any 3D printing uh, or, just, or just now getting started on 3D printing, uh, you need to know that you're gonna run into a lot of print failures. Uh, and there are several reasons as to why those occur. Uh, but this tool hopefully will allow you to catch them in the design phase uh, before you take them to the 3D printer. Okay, so first things first, um, what is it that you're looking at here on the screen? Uh, what we have here is a vent cover, a circular vent cover. Um, and as you can see, this is uh, this would be one quarter of that. Uh, and what we were hoping to do with this was to have them slide together. As you can see, that's the sliding mechanism we were going to use. Um, and this was either the first or second iteration of this design. Uh, but anyway, so the very first thing we want to do is come up here to file and then scroll down to print 3D. All right, once you click on that, uh, the very first thing it's going to ask you is to verify the print volume of your machine, right? But before you do that, because as you can see, this is all grayed out, uh, what you want to do is you want to give it the bottom plane of the model. Uh, so given it this this design here, obviously the very the bottom phase that we want to select is this one here. Uh, so as you can see, once you uh, select that, then it's gonna give you the entire print volume of the 3D printer. And uh, you can come here and you can change those as necessary, depending on the size of your machine. Uh, what we're using is a low spot task six. So these are those dimensions. Um, and if you scroll down further, further down, as you can see, you can change the orientation, the size, where the location, scale, uh, you name it, as you would on any slicing software like Cura, Simplified 3D, Repetier, right? Um, as well as give it the job quality. Um, so for me, for this one, doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna put draft. So select draft and 100% infill. Uh, that will include supports and draft. But up here um, in the preview is what I'm looking for. Um, so uh, right here, uh, on the build analysis, you can see it gives you, uh, it, is, it tells you where the face or which, which faces are going to require support and which won't. Uh, so as you can see, it's it's in yellow. Uh, actually, let me let me get rid of this striation line so you can see a little bit better, right? So you have yellow, uh, and then I just have to look for any green. Uh, and obviously, it will be right here, right underneath these two areas here. As you can see, those will be the yellow ones. So I will have support. Uh, so given this design, it'd be a little bit tricky to have some supports in here. Um, but that's another video. Uh, but anyway, um, so further down here, you can see the layer height at 0.3. It's kind of rough, but it really doesn't matter for what I'm going to be doing. Uh, because all I want to do is verify. I want to almost perform a quality control on my design. Uh, and if you click on the straight lines, you can see it kind of tells you what it will look like if you were to 3D print it, right? Uh, but the nifty tool is right here in thickness and gap um, analysis, right? So I'm going to be using FDM and normally this works with future deposition modeling anyway. Uh, oh, you only want to use it. I'm pretty sure you can use it with other processes, but um, it works best with FDM. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to I want to analyze any gap uh, over half a millimeter. Uh, the nozzle for the 3D printer that we're using is 0.5. So I want to check anything you know less than that than that uh distance that diameter uh and as well as any anything over under 120 degrees uh in distance but uh so you click on calculate and as you can see it's gonna analyze the entire design your entire design is going to tell you those two uh so right here at the bottom right hand corner as you can see the thin wall in the model is selected in that orange and in blue is that thin gap in the model so um, the blue ones here, I think they'll be fine, you know, given how close it is to the circle there, that's, that's not a big issue. And, and it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna, uh, you're gonna have any failures in there anyway. Uh, but right here, I wanna take a look at this one right here. And as you can see, yep, I have a gap in here that, uh, here, you'll probably see it better if we show it as transparent, uh, this, this gap here. Uh, can, it's easily fixed, but um, 
it, this may be a weak point. Uh, it may not be a, it may not cause any print errors, uh, but it will certainly be a weak point within my design, and that's an easily fixed problem. So that's that. Uh, this this tool here. Hopefully, you're able to, you know, double check your work, perform some quality control on your design. Uh, this design check. Uh, so that you're not wasting any material, lo and behold, any time uh, on your print. Um, so uh, that's it for this video. Uh, please comment, subscribe, uh, and let me know if this video was helpful to you. Okay, thanks, we'll see you on the next one.